skies today. It is beautiful, gorgeous. Love it. Let's start a new week, shall we? And walk my two miles. Here we go. Always happy to take my walk. Always feels good. I enjoy it. We had a great weekend. Got my hair done. <laughs> the white hairs are partially gone anyway. So, got a busy week coming up. Uh, several appointments and just lots of work to do at home. I have some editing and I need to work on a book for our retired teachers uh, group. Plus I need to get back to some painting too. So lots to do and I'm anxious to get started. All right, I am out and about today because I had to go to a chiropractor appointment. So I am sitting out in front of the office right now and I'm finished. And I did a no-no. I stopped. And you're kind of hungry. You have to have a little something. So I did. So when I get through at the chiropractor, you know, they have you laying down on your face. So you feel kind of weird when you get out of there. And here I go messing with my hair again. I know you wish I would quit messing with my hair. Anyway, so that appointment is done. And I will be coming back uh, two days before we leave for vacation. So um, that should be good because that will help me feel better, she said, hopefully, as I'm on my trip. And I think we're going to be able to go down to visiting once a month. I don't really know how I feel about chiropractic care but there's got to be something to it because it does help. My hips have stopped hurting. My back is not nearly what it was. However, um, when I first came to her and she did a new set of x-rays, uh, she noticed on the x-ray there was a little um, mass that she saw and she said, when I go to my health care visit to show them and let them know, so, um, I did. I had my health visit um, in April. I can't even remember what day it was. The beginning of April. Um, well, it was, it was the day of the eclipse. That's when it was. I had my health visit. Yeah. So, I showed them that. And they took x-rays there at the office. And then I, I didn't hear. And I didn't hear. And I didn't hear. It's been nearly a month. Uh, actually three weeks and finally yesterday I heard from the clinic and they said you have um, a lumbar lesion whatever the heck that is so we're gonna send you for an MRI I mean this is Laura loves life we're gonna share everything the goods, the bads, the uglies, but always usually the goods is what I like to share, but this is one of the not so good. So we're gonna see what that's about. And I talked to the chiropractor about it. I mean, she's the one that saw it on my x-rays and I said, thank you for finding it because I would have, you know, I would have never known had I not come. It was almost like one of those God things, you know, God, I am a Christian. We, go through our doubts and fears and and all as humans but I always come back to the fact that I cannot live without speaking to the Lord I mean I'm in prayer all the time and I ask him to forgive me of my many sins we all as humans have them but through the grace of God, they're forgiven if we ask. 
and we try to get closer to the Lord and depend on Him. So that's what I am doing. And I just sort of feel like this chiropractor visit was a God send, a God, uh, a God wink that they talk about, that we would not have known about this had I not come to get chiropractic care. Um, I'm not sure I would have talked that much to my doctor doctor. I mean, I would have told them my back hurts, but I don't know that they would have done anything had these x-rays not been taken and then it sort of triggered. Let's look further into this. So, anyway, I've never had an MRI. I've never had very many medical things go on except for my um, vein ablation, having a baby. I did have my wisdom teeth out. Um, I did have a heart cath many years ago. I mean, I uh, had um, the uh, procedure where they go down the esophagus. I can't think of what it's called right now. Um, and then I had my retina business and cataracts. So those are the major-ish sort of things, but I've never had like a surgery surgery where they put me under. Now they put me out for wisdom teeth, but not long. I mean, it was done in an office, so that wasn't like a hospital visit or a hospital stay. And just one emergency room kind of thing, which happened in Red River, and I kind of attribute that to um, being um, a little bit dehydrated and I was extremely low of potassium at that time. So I think that was a godsend of catching what was going on with my heart that is now pretty well taken care of since 2012. I mean, I just don't have any troubles. However, tomorrow I'm going for a stress test because I was stupid enough to mention in my last heart doctor visit that I was, I'm always tired. I just, I get up from uh, sleeping and in a, in a couple hours I want to go take a nap. I just, I'm tired all the time. So he said, well, let's, let, we haven't done this in a while, let's check this. So my last uh, stress test was 2012. 12 years later, here we go, we're gonna do it again and I've gotta walk the treadmill, which I'm not scared of because I walk two miles every day anyway. So what's gonna be the big deal? I don't think anything. However, I, I failed the one in 2012 because of my skips in my heart. So I probably will fail this one too, but it's, it's just gonna be, you know, it is what it is. But. And then, um, let's see, a couple weeks later, I will be doing, well, it's gonna be on the 16th. I will do an electrocardiogram, which is also not a big deal, but I can't, I mean, you know, it just lets them know what they need to know to keep your medicine where it is and keep you going. And it's a shame that we say we have, we're kept alive by stinking medicine, but I guess that is it, I don't know. So anyway, this chiropractor thing and the lumbar lesion thing is concerning. Because as a teacher, what do I immediately do? Go research. I looked over everything I could find on it. And basically a lesion is similar to a tumor, except for the fact that a tumor is cancerous and a lesion is usually uh, a non-cancerous thing, which that's what they're calling it right now until they get in there. So anyway, next friday i'll be going for that and probably will not be able to film because my husband's going to go with me and he's not much into our stuff <laughs> so i probably won't film anything that day but um we'll talk about it you know when it comes time so now i am headed back to the city from the little town that i used to live in that i loved so much and I'm going to have my car uh, tires rotated. We're at 100 and nearly 35,000 miles on this 
car. And so every 5,000 miles, you get the tire rotation. And every 10,000 miles, you get the oil changed. So this is tire rotation time. So I'm gonna go take care of that. And then after that, I will be picking up uh, dinner from Cheddar's. My husband and I talked about it last night and we think we want the veggie plate where you can choose lots of different vegetables. And I just love cheddar salads. Their Caesar salads are fabulous. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day. And I don't think I'm gonna stop anywhere, but if I do, I'll, I'll let you see what's going on. Now tomorrow, after my stress test, they said I would be at the office for two hours. Anyway, so after that, there's an estate sale. So I'm probably gonna go check that out and if there are any others that pop up. And then after that, I don't know what I'm gonna do other than probably just uh, pick up more supper, dinner, lupper, whatever we wanna call it, and head home. So busy, busy days for this first day of May. And May's always exciting because school, closing down my daughter's going to be get to, getting to come home and stay a lot and we'll be doing things and you know being active and walking too in the, in the evenings and keeping all that up so let's head to the city and see what's going to happen well this is what i'm traveling home in kind of scary looking don't know if I'm thrilled about it or not, but yeah, I think I want to get home. We do have some tornado warnings in our area, so oh lord, help me get home in 22 minutes. Here we go. Yeah, this is kind of a fast moving storm, and I'm hoping that it will pass without being a problem. Well, we are still getting interesting skies. I tried to walk, but I could not do it. The wind was blowing me off my feet, and uh, my daughter just texted me that they've got hail. So, even though she's nearly 110 miles away, uh, it may be pushing this way. So, I guess I'll be going home. No finishing my walk today. I just went a mile. Oh well. Well, I got my appointment done. I walked the treadmill, I did my stress test, and I am finished. So now I am going to uh, go to an estate sale, whether I feel like it or not. And I got a message from my housekeeper's daughter that my housekeeper got sick while she was at, the, at my house. So I'm a little worried about her because I had to call an ambulance. So... I'm a little bit worried and kind of wanting to get on home, but I'm going to do this and I may run to the store and go from there. Anyway, my appointment, they didn't really say anything. They just, they took pictures, they ran an IV, they had to do this serum stuff to tell them what I was doing during the treadmill. It took me six minutes and 30 seconds to get to a heart rate of 131. I don't know what that means. Uh, blood pressure was started out at 112 over 70, was 170 over 70 at my highest point. I don't know what all that means. So hopefully they will tell me soon what the results are. But at least I didn't have to go see the doctor this time. <laughs> Last time after I finished the treadmill, I had to go see my doctor. So hopefully everything is okay and we can just move on in this world to bigger and better things. So let's go to an estate sale. Now this one is extremely busy. There are cars and people everywhere. So this may be interesting, but this particular one is run by a group that's always really good. So that's probably why it's pretty popular. But we'll see what we can get into. Me and my estate sales.
Okay, state sale done. I got a few items I'll show you here in a minute. Um, neighborhoods. Okay. This is kind of a pretty little, pretty little house and landscaping. I always like to look at all the landscaping and the trees. The trees are always pretty in these different neighborhoods. So let's get back in the car and head to another spot. All right, so here's what I picked up is treasures. These are actually for Suzanne. 50 cents for pencils, eh, not that big a deal, but these are Color Ray. And if she doesn't want them, I'm going to keep them because Color Ray uh, colored pencils have not been around in a while. I, in fact, I tried looking for some on eBay. So <laughs> I may have to fight her for these. But yeah, Color Ray used to be the best colored pencils ever. So there's those little treasures. And then I got a piece of Corningware with a lid for five bucks. It's a short piece of Corningware, but it's a long, uh, you know, like storage bowl. But the great thing is that it has a lid. And it's not the Corningware that has the blue cornflower, which is okay. Um, Cause I have the striped Corningware as well. And anytime you could buy or get Corningware, it's just the most excellent dishware because it's microwave and oven safe you can't put it in a broiler or on a stove top but you know microwave and oven is is great so got that and then she wrapped up this but i can i think i can show it okay it's just a crystal bowl and i did the test to see if it was really crystal let me see if i can do it here in a minute anyway it was a little higher than i wanted to pay but um it's a pretty piece of crystal. You know, I'm finding things that I can save for Suzanne as well. But let's see if the pin works. I don't know if it will or not. Yeah, hear it? We have a clear bell ring. So if it pings and the ping hangs on, you've got a piece of crystal. And it's pretty heavy, so... Usually I can tell by the weight of it as well. So that was my, uh, those were my treasures from the estate sale. Now I need to head to like a Walgreens or I might can get, get this at Walmart too. I may just go to Walmart. I need some of my L'Oreal uh, Regenerance or something uh, cream. I put it on my neck at night and it does really a good job for not as much price cost as some of the other products that are out there so i'm nearly out of it so i'm going to go pick up some of that and i do have a little bit of a list for walmart so I may just do that and then i think i'm done i mean i'm i'm a little bit <laughs> i don't want to say traumatized because i don't get that upset but i'm worried about my little housekeeper that's kind of bothered me that she got sick at my home and her daughter had to come pick her up. So, um, yeah. And plus, just, I don't know, the idea of a stress test, you always think, oh crud, are they gonna find something? Am I gonna have blockage? You know, my, my father had, I don't even remember the number of heart surgeries he's had. We called him the $6 million man <laughs> because he had um, a heart surgery every five to 10 years. I mean, it was just starting at 55. And, and uh, he had heart disease. And so I know I'm on that path, but I've tried to be really good with exercise and eating and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully I'm not gonna be on that path, but you know, it's, it's what it is as far as being, it's in your family history. There's not a whole lot you can do, except just, you know, try to keep up with prevention um, tactics and Hope that it all works. So, any, anyway, anywho, let's go to Walmart. Okay, I'm on aisle seven. I usually forget to remember what row I'm on, so that kind of helps. So, let's go see what we can find. Okay, I need some toothpaste toothbrushes and then I'll head back here to the cosmetics. I look at the NYX um, colors. 
I like mine really well. So I'm gonna see if I can get another color in this. Okay, so I'm doing something crazy. I'm gonna go get me some popcorn at Synergy. Just the popcorn. It is so loud in here, but we're just gonna do some popcorn and get out. Not as fast as I can go. Hopefully it won't take very long. Okay, this is so stupid. I'm not gonna do it. And then add butter flavoring to my silly got myself some popcorn and I don't know if you could hear me in there or not but I'm treating myself because I had to walk the treadmill <laughs> and that's silly <laughs> okay we are off to go home I'm going to pick up um, Mexican food from Taco Garcia's and then I will head to the Ponderosa well I decided to walk even though I had my Stress says today, and look what a beautiful evening. It's really, really pretty. Clouds are pretty. It's about 70 degrees. It is perfect. So why not go for a walk? I mean, is that not pretty? Uh, it's not sunset, but the sun is peeking through those clouds, and it's just so, so pretty. What a pretty day. In the field, there are horses grazing. They've had their babies. One of them is laying down out there. Kind of hard to see since it's getting late evening, but yeah, there we go. Getting late, so can't really see them. It's so pretty seeing them across the street. 